Hello, Joel Blessed here from the Inspire Church, Inspire Outreach Ministry. Have you ever felt trapped in the middle? You look at your life, the situations of your life, the stuff that is around you, and you see something that's more attractive. You see an area where there is not snow. You feel like you're trapped in a, in part of your life and, and you're kind of in the middle right now here in Colorado. We, we've been having sun, we've been having snow right now. It's supposed to be 60 degrees, but yet we still have snow on the ground because the sun never gets to this part of the yard to melt the snow. And then in the backyard over there, that's what I want. I'm a summer guy. I, I like t-shirts and jeans and, and I don't like wearing coats and all those things. And, and, and sometimes in our lives, there's areas of our life where we feel trapped in the middle, where we, where we feel like we're in between relationships, our jobs. It just doesn't feel like we're solid. And when we, we, we get concerned over our life not being all that we would want it to be, we, 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 we want to be there, not here. I, I want sunshine and rainbows all the time. <laughs> and I wish I could give that to us all anytime we want it. But, but the reality is I, I, I'm, I'm kind of caught in between what I want and what God has given me. But there's some times when we have to make a realization where we have to decide that it's my desire, what I want, more important than what God wants for our lives. And so I think sometimes we need a different perspective. So we need to kind of take a walk through the snow, through the weather, through whatever we're doing, and look at our lives in a different way. You know, as I look to where God has my life, it ain't that bad. It, it's kind of pretty. It, it might not be the, the dry <laughs> that I want, but we have to appreciate the circumstance that God has us in, the area that God has us in now. We have to see the beauty that is God's designed plan for our life. And though we may want more or something different, we still must appreciate the beauty of God's work that he has chosen us for this time. And though we want to stay <laughs> in the dry and the warm and the sun as much as possible, <laughs> and our God will give us moments like that, but there also must be times where we grow, where we strive, where we have to keep working, we have to keep, have you ever felt like you're trapped in the middle of your life? The way I've learned to overcome that is by appreciating the moment, appreciating where God has me, appreciating the day. Don't feel trapped. Keep striving, keep fighting, keep moving, keep loving, keep blessing, doing the things that we've got to do, but also appreciate that God knows what's best for us. And God understands our impatience sometimes <laughs> because we are human beings. And just look around at the middle of our lives and the, the, the seasons of our lives. And some days it's sunny and it looks warm and other times it's cold and we, we might be a little miserable. <laughs> but it's all a part of God's divine plan. Trust him, lean on him, not onto our own understanding, but lean on God. He's got the best for us, whether it be the cold <laughs> aspect or the warm, sunny stuff. Because I know the warm's coming. All I got to do is get through this season right here. Don't feel trapped. Don't feel incomplete. Appreciate the moment that God has for you. I love you. God bless you. Just something that came to my mind today as I looked in my backyard. I'm like, man, this is weird. But it does kind of work on our lives too. God bless you. I love you. Uh, share this video, whatever. I love you. Leave me a message. I'll reply to you personally. I love you. God bless you. Don't feel trapped. Love you. Bye-bye.